easy, but honestly, the rate we... that New York has been going, we might have to start doing the same for Tilde Zamba. These yeah. two young kings in New York City constantly bouting out every Wednesday here at CNO, but now they're taking it to the weekend. Well, the thing about this is they're about, you know, they're fighting every Wednesday, but there's always the same victor. Tilde has had it. This, you know, like, had Zombe's number in the bag as he's managed to do with a three-peat. And maybe it's going to even be a four-peat right now because he's looking hot tonight. Like, we might be on the verge of a new dynasty here at Xeno, but Zombe been playing extra spicy as of late. Not going to be doing too much with that neutral air, though. Figuring out how to land onto Falco is a pretty tall order given that Nair, albeit a great button, kind of on the slower end. Yeah, and Falco loves it if you want to do something slow. Ooh. Now, one thing is that, you know, with this percentage range, oh, it looks pretty good for Tilde. But don't forget, Nair, Side B, there's so many options that Zomba can try and drag him off the stage and end his life extremely early. Tilde has to respect it, has to be at least a little bit fearful. Like, figuring out opportunities to go in is going to be super important for both of these uh, players because with Tilde, one little touch and he's getting a ton of damage off. But if he overextends even just a little bit, he's getting fried by Zomba. Did, so did he... I think he wanted to grab the, the gyro and he messed it up just a little bit. Got the jab instead and that left him open for that back air. Gyro knows no loyalty. <laughs> it's all, only to rob. Oh, these up smashes just barely whiffing. That's I think it's the second one that Zomba has perfectly outspaced. And right now, the, those big combo starters not connecting into the kill moves. Zomba surviving at 164. Like, Zomba has a really good idea of how to just stay out of that burst range that Falco offers. It's gonna be the back air that manages to catch in that situation. But as you're highlighting, a lot of these combo starters just are sort of not leading to much. It's just sort of tit for tat damage right now by Tilde. Very uncharacteristic, both of the player and the character. Oh, as you say that, the combos have been coming out 97% already. And oh, look at that positioning. He's looking to finish the job. Goes all the way up there. Doesn't actually find its mark though. And now both of these guys deep in the red. These, their stock can drop at any instant. Yeah, especially as there's no plats to retreat to and the battle finds its way to the ledge. This is the position that Zamba wants to be in. Great shoe cap from Tilde, although Zamba's staying reserved. He's not going to fall for these tricks. Oh, Woo! there it is. We know that Tilde likes to go for that side B, isn't over eager about it, but you can shield that up smash. Oh, just an immediate response, though. Tilde not letting Zamba take a lead and do anything with it. You know, that's what, probably one of the better aspects of this is that while Falco's moving fast and if Rob makes the good call, Rob is able to, you know, end that stock out early. But if Falco <laughs> makes the good call, you're here for a minute a and you're taking plenty of damage. 107%. He brought him onto the platform, took him off, took him down, went on the world tour. Zumba still is unable to find oh. a single hit. That's the first one. If that managed. Nair didn't hit, that up smash was connecting. And how about, let's just oh, put that living. one on. I don't know. Tilde, can you give us a third? Can we see the third? Yeah. Yes, we can! Game one's gonna go to Tilde. Uh, and that last stop, those guys were going even, you know? It, it always felt like Tilde was, in, was, you know, starting out in the lead, but then Zombo would slowly bring it back. No chance to bring it back in that last game. Oh my lord, Tilde. The fact he up smashed three times, he caught the nair every single time, and it was this spacing of it. Notice that he was like perfectly at that range. There wasn't even any fire there. If you uh, if you go back to check it, it was just that blind spot just spiking him right through. All right, moving ourselves into game two, and it seems that Zama's bringing us to Callum's Pokemon League, giving him a lot more space to sort of maneuver, although this is a bit of a dangerous one, I feel, because there's a lot of lateral space that Falco can also combo across. Ooh, one thing that is notice notable is um those side platforms. You know, they can help out with combos, but also might help out with getting off of the ledge. It's gonna be relevant for both players here, actually. Uh, but this is kind of similar to that last stock. All of this damage uncontested being put on Zomba. Whoa, oh. It's just really easy for Falco to control that aerial space and the pick into Kalos immediately proving its value as we got to tech it to the wall. That wall going to be proving vital to the survival of Zamba, but so is finding these landings. Yeah, no, the, the stage has already paid for itself twice now. Finally, Zomba surviving, maybe gets that first hit, maybe gets that big starter that he needs. 50, at the very least, already been able to do a decent amount of damage. 
Down tilt, still not enough to finish it. That stage coming in clutch for Tomba. Oh, how about that though? <laughs> All you need is the down tilt confirming for your up smash. And the fact that it is such a hard stage, all of that rage managed to help out Rob a ton. It brings us to an even game, even though it looked like it was supposed to be Tilde's game from the start. Yeah, oh my, he actually managed to, I think he pressed Z in order to re-grab that uh, tower right there. Really smart, recognizing that it was in Tilde's hand and he was kind of forced to throw it. Getting rid of Gyro is such a big aspect of this matchup. If you're regularly fighting a Rob, you need to have a response for that Gyro, whether it's using it yourself or just getting it away. I mean, the one thing that we're also kind of seeing is he'll go for the reflector on the grounded Gyro, which I believe changes its ownership. It does, you're correct. So it's like a very low committal. I mean, still a little bit dangerous, especially if Rob is, you know, right there, but... The yeah, and least. that's why there's a bit of a layer of commitment to it, because you want to have your reflector ready and waiting for Rob Laser. Because if you put it out just to reflect Gyro, well, then you wait for that reflector to go away, and the laser's following suit. <gasps> oh, and I mean, grabbing Gyro has its own benefits, as Tilda is showing right here. Able to add on all this extra pressure. And 105% back air doesn't quite do it, but another one of the those. way that he, like, wants a little bit in. It's what? just to stay and read. Nair and up air are going to trade. Both players just going to sort of deal with it as they move on to last stock. Tilde immediately bringing us out to the blast zone. A bit early to call, though. Love the idea of going for that down B. A nice way to extend the combo without being too oh, committal. It's, oh, no, he's off stage. I don't think he has a jump. Zomba recognizing that. I don't think he got his jump back, in fact. 77%, 84, it continues. He needs to find his way back to the ledge. Beautiful angle on that upbeat. See the way that he angled in so he'd ride the wall into the shooting straight up. Phenomenal from Tilde. Gives him the least on life that he needs as he's moving on the hunt to try and get this kill. We're once again taken to the top from Zamba. I love that he's been adjusting to go for these really high recoveries and staying mobile while all the way up there. Because you know that Falco is going to be able to jump up and meet you in the sky really easily. <sighs> that up tilt, I guess up tilt is not going to be comboing into those kill moves anymore. Back throw to put him off on the ledge. This is so dangerous. If you are Tilde, it's dangerous to death. Wow, Zomba managing to... The survivability of Kalos came in so clutch for him, keeping him alive, letting him find the opportunity to turn things around. That's going to be 1-1 right now for the count. Yeah, and that was a very interesting shift in momentum because I feel like we entered game two hot off the trail of that game one. A very oh, explosive yeah. ending from Tilde and a very explosive beginning here from Tilde. But ultimately, I think the space of the stage just really helped Zamba that much. And I think that one of the big things that happened at the end of that game was the just the overall like trapping and the juggling. And it was as soon as he took that jump, Zomba knew to go in and just really take as much mileage as he could off of it. Oh, speaking of taking mileage, though. Bull. Yeah, coming across the plats of town and city is going to be a no-brainer for both of these characters, I feel. But of course, Tilde going to be the initiator here for game three. And I feel like when we break down Falco for parts, that jump really is the make or break of what makes him a solid character. So good on Zomba for scouting out that jump where uh, Tilde could otherwise be vulnerable. I like the idea of that recovery, but Tilda liked it even more. Oh, sorry, uh, Zomba liked it even more because it let him get some extra damage in. But now he's, oh, this is the sort of thing where they're even, and before, Zomba was down by a lot and managed to still take it. So being even is a not great place for Tilda. Ooh, and the forward are managing to get the kill as well. Very good offstage play from Zomba. Just staying reserved, let the projectiles do most of the work, and then ended out with quick rob buttons. Nice job there. The chase down <laughs> coming into effect. The fact that that side B just zips from one side of the stage to the other and combos into a kill move. Man, you, there's nowhere that you're safe. Tilde always seems so exact with where he wants to put his hitboxes. And it's so funny because I feel like a lot of players here in the city, they'll take a very methodical and sure approach to victory. Tilde, he's not going to let you have room to breathe. If he wants you dead, if he wants to get in the scrap, he will bring you into it himself. <laughs> I agree 100%. But the thing is that, you know, he's scrapping it out. He's getting in there, but he's not finding the kills when he needs to be. Even now at 125%, this Zomba is surviving. Even now, how did he live that? That was fantastic, DI. 
and all of a sudden he's back down on the ground. This is the sort of thing where Tilda has to be scared. Yo, that restand when the first up tilt wasn't enough? So I'm getting a little greedy. Is he going to pay the price for it? Or is he going to cash out big because... Nope, nope, nope. We are landing on the bird. Too bad of a landing, though. That Nair not going to do the job. Arm Roader gets it done, though. Salty, we're back in the 1-1 count. <laughs> we got here real fast this time. Oh, yeah, and oh, here is this sort of thing we've seen time and time again. These low percent combos from Tilda. A beautiful, I think it was Smash DI on Zomba's part to fall out of the move, but he did not actually get out of the danger. Tilda is still staying on top of him. That pressure that you mentioned, oppressive. But Tilda finally finding, oh, sorry, Zomba finally finding these, these moves, these quick aerials that are, oh, no. Don't speak too soon, my friends. No, we are on the hunt. Speaking of hunt. Oh, man. Going Yo, I'm going to keep it real there. with you. I am waiting for one of these points during the set where Tilde just goes for the up B. Just absolutely dives in. Because <laughs> he's gotten this close time and time again where back air and up air just aren't doing it. But Rob is big enough that you could just drag him along with Fire Falco. It's absolutely possible. And that's going to be an invaluable oh. mix up as the set goes on. Because Tilde is still struggling. He's struggling, and this is the thing. He's, yeah, he's struggling, but he was doing all right, you know, just getting damage and damage, but now he's the one in the corner. Nice cross-up. Rob can kind of struggle to deal with cross-ups at times. But Tilde now, 113%. The back air just barely finding it. That up air was so close to connecting. If he had gone a little bit earlier on it, he probably would have gotten clipped because of extending his hurt box. Where games one and two seem definitively in favor of either of the players, this was a very, like, tug of war kind of game where the oh, damage yeah. was just layered so heavily from both like, sides so quickly. Yeah, that was so close to connecting. Dude. And that would have absolutely killed That really came down to the last 10 on that yeah. opportunity, but that was like the five territory. Dude. We're not out of it just yet. Tilde needs another, and we're going right on back to Kalos. I definitely agree with the stage pick. I mean, we saw just how good it was. There are some advantages for Tilde as well. The fact that he has access to a wall jump on those sides. But, oh, sorry. <laughs> no, honestly, Whoa, what you no, keep on jump. making the block noise because it's absolutely appropriate. <laughs> he used the wall jump to die. <laughs> well, to choose your own adventure, and you chose wrong, buddy. I don't know. I feel like that was a rigged choose your own adventure. <laughs> it's like going to heads I win, tails you lose. <laughs> yeah. Shake. Oh, he's done. No. He's dead. Another wall jump ends in disaster for Tilde. <laughs> We're at the 3 1 count immediately. We're not even out of the first minute. And Zama's looking to close out this game. And all of a sudden, we're seeing some strange options being picked from Tilde. I think that he is just shook right now. He does have another game to work with. You know, he worked hard in that last game to bring it to a 2-1. Oh, and he's still working hard right now. Oh, yeah. Bro is swinging. He needs to try and level the playing field here because Zama has managed a definitive lead coming into game four. Oh, like, he yeah. needs to get aggressive. He needs to stay fast. But he also needs to make sure that he doesn't overextend because now this is twice where he's pressed just a little too hard and Zama oh. has killed him for it. That's... He can tech it? No, he can't. Wow, that was... That was Zamba's game to win. We just needed to get to the win screen. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we hadn't seen a domination like that yet. You were, it was just push and pull. You know, sometimes, you know, Tilda would have these crazy nutty combos, but very rarely would they end in taking stocks. But right there, that was just, oh, textbook edge guards, textbook things that Rob can do. Ooh, and... He kind of rocked him that game. Yeah, I mean, if you're Tilda, though, I feel like you got so rocked that you can shake it off. You know what I mean? You gotta. No, that's the one that invites a clap back. That's like, all right, yeah. you clipped me, I clip you. <laughs> Going right. into game five, that's exactly the mentality Tilda needs to hold on to. Because. Yeah, taking. Look at him taking that deep You gotta breath. take that sugar of water, take that breath. I think that the very beginning of this game is going to say a lot. If Zomba just continues with that momentum and just starts slaughtering him once more, or if Tilda shows that he's composed, that he, you know, knows what he needs to be doing and gets that clap back, that response that I think he desperately wants to show he has. It's pretty much slower, though. Wow! Tilda playing. So, this is... I'm actually... 
amazed that we have gotten to this point of like the till day saga where he's always known for having an exceptional combo game a really strong sense of neutral and always able to find those reversals but falco at the end of the day is destined to control the pace of a match by slowing it down oh, unfortunately man. rob doesn't care for those kind of tools wow i mean you were talking about the firebird not quite like that but <laughs> The fact that he managed to get that angle, get away with murder right there. This is going back and forth. You gotta even. save it for game five, dude. It's a hell of a check has gone if I've ever seen one. <laughs> oh man, look at these two just being able to low profile the laser. There are all of these tiny moments where if they were just barely missed space, they'd be dead. There's been multiple occasions so far, just in this one extension of neutral, where Tilting's just barely dodged, dying, and now he's found that reversal he needs. Up smash gets it done, but can he find a lead? A really sharp angle from Up B manages Ooh. to bring him back to stage. And also, even though Zumble was forced to recover really low right there, Tilted did not try to chase him. Knew that that's a risk he's not willing to take, especially when he can just go back to stage and do these combos that he is known and famous for. Across these past four games, Tilde has constantly died for overextending. Not just taking a lot of damage, not just lose total stage control, lost stocks and games at this point from even tiny overextensions. Right there, that overextension costing him once more. That time just jumping up a little bit too high. I think he sort of realized that and for the most part now, oh, never mind, he hasn't realized it. He jumps right into Zomba's arms, as he, especially as he's maybe getting a little bit desperate for a way to finish off this stock. He knows what happens if Tilde is not put, if he can't put a stop to him. Yeah, no, this is looking like a runaway stock for Tilde now. He's up the, the lead, but <laughs> Zomba's proven that he can take these stocks very easily. Oh. Back here, not finding the mark there. Another missed tech. This is gonna be huge damage already on Tilde. He saw it, recognized it, and goes to that platform, saving Grace, bringing him back onto stage, and possibly the chance to get another one of those big combos going. Foreigner finds his mark, but nothing else out of that instead. Zaba getting really shaky here with these neutral airs, trying to find a landing one. It's one of the biggest problems with neutral air. There's such high reward in actually landing it, but it's so well telegraphed. Up smash out of parry manages to even the playing field, though. Oh, and if you're Tilda, that is losing a stock at 100. That's not what you want. And oh, the good DI. Look at this. These combos are not quite going the way that they had been earlier on in this set. And the landing. That was too. a really risky landing, but we haven't seen that from Zamba at all in this set. He tried to read a jump, and that's another one of those overextensions you were talking about. It almost led to absolute disaster for Tilda. Right now, he's trying to find some opening, and he be getting a little bit over eager. Zamba now starting to find his own hits. It's just move for move, but nothing that Zamba's landing is really threatening Tilde in the same way that these earlier moves have done. And because of that, we see Zamba try to threaten that really high landing. This time, we got the platforms from Town and City really helping him out. <gasps> Gets the roll read with the forward air. Not necessarily a stock taker, but at least it sends a message. And 148% right now with stage control in Tilde's favor. Can he actually find the finishing blow? That neutral is still not enough. This is Rob well beyond the point of max rage, and that's a very dead Rob. Tilde clutches it out 3-2 over Zamba and secures his spot in grand finals from winner's side. And he was chasing up there all the time. You saw him going up there, going up there. And then finally, when it came down to it most, that double jump from Falco, it's so high. And here we see it. Yeah, it was the back air. He was just way too comfortable. He probably saw him doing that early on and was like, I'm not punishing that yet. He waits for the best possible moment and then, and then does it. Yep. Take flights. Back air and lag. Yes, sir. Give me that grand finals. Goodbye. Whoa. Really solid performance from both players there. I would not be surprised if we see Zamba again, because you know the boy's going to want his run back after that.